Well, welcome to the World School Podcast. We're doing the World Pool Swim Championships edition here. Uh, that's going to be in London coming up this May. Just to get started, if you guys can just each introduce yourself and then what uh, different swim events you do uh, just right now and then also maybe going into London as well. Um, hi, my name is Skyla, um, and I think my favorite stroke would definitely have to be backstroke. Um, it's just sort of a stroke that's always something that I've enjoyed. And then recently as well, butterfly. Even though I still enjoy backstroke, butterfly is definitely faster for me, and I would definitely say sprint distances. I'm much more of a sprint distance swimmer than a long distance swimmer. Awesome. Um, hi, my name is Ilo, and um, mostly I freestyle it. Uh, I can do all the sets in freestyle 50, 100, 200, but also um, enjoy some infrastructure. But not really like 200, mostly 50. Um, my name is Kira, and I am also a freestyler, but I like doing long distance. So, like 100s, 200s, and sometimes 400s. Great. So, it definitely seems like there's quite a variety of different uh, swimming events here that you guys like to partake in. So with that being said, just how excited are you guys to go to London to also be a school that, you know, you will be kind of seen as internationally, obviously, going into the United Kingdom. So how much pride do you have just representing maybe your, your different home countries as this is an international school, but also uh, the United Emirates? Uh, so I was the 40% winner in 2016. Uh, I competed in London for the World School Games, and it was one of the best experiences of the ever in like, I've ever done and like when I heard that I, was, I had the opportunity to, to do it again I was like really happy about it of course like um, I wanted to do it again yeah um I know me and Skyla we've been wanting to do this since year eight but we didn't have the chance until this year because of COVID and then even last year we had our GCSEs so we're really excited to go this year yeah like Kara said I think it's something that's been sort of been building up for a while that we're really excited to finally be able to do because it is such like I was been before and we've heard obviously all of the other students who've been to London before with the school last year and how much of a cool experience they had and how much they enjoyed it so I think it's something that we're really looking forward to. Awesome so it definitely seems like we're going to have not only some veterans on the on this team kind of going into London but some also some rookies so definitely good to have that veteran experience behind you as well there. So with that being said as well just what kind of things are you guys doing in practice just to kind of work on your game to get into May? I know that's definitely far away, but just the different things you've been doing to try to get up to get to gear just towards the games. Um, uh, as a school, sort of as the swim team that's going, we're doing like weekly either team building sessions, training sessions, whether it's a gym session, a pool session, or just something fun to get to know everyone because obviously there's a lot of different age groups going this time around. So to try and get more of a merge between like the sixth formers and the younger ones going to sort of make sure that everyone knows everyone and is comfortable and happy around everyone. So it's team building, training and things like that. And then obviously people are swimming with their squads outside of school as well to train with the different coaches as well. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> um, so with that being said as well, what are your go your goals just going into these games? I know you're kind of just touching up what you've done in practice, but do you guys have any big team goals in mind just going into London? Um, I would say probably my main aim is to enjoy it, to have fun out of it. As Like we said earlier, we're all looking forward to it. It's a really cool experience. So I think the main thing is to enjoy it and to swim well. Yeah, I also think this is just like such an important like opportunity for us because it's like such a large event and I really like, I think all of us are hoping to really like improve for it because it's like like once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, as well as like enjoying it, I'm also there to compete, I'm there to win, um, but I can't be too hard on myself and I can use it as an experience that I can learn from like, for the future. Awesome, definitely a good mindset going to that. And kind of with that being said, just on that side, is there any personal goals you guys have in mind just going into the World School Swim Championships? 
Um, maybe to make like a personal best time, something like that, achieving a personal best at a competition of that level would be something that would definitely be really cool experience to be able to be in that pool, in that environment and being able to say that you got a personal best, that would be something that I could really look forward to. Awesome. Uh, does anyone else have any personal goals in mind? Uh, so I have some time set that I want to break before, um, before going to London, but there are also really there are also times that I would love to break when I'm there because it's an experience to say like I broke this time in a competition that um, I won't really be going again. Like I'm not really gonna go to it again. So it's a like a really good experience. Yeah. And for me as well, I there's like races that I'm really focused on, and I think making like a new PB would be really nice. And also not even just my time, but I think even if I can improve like my technique or just like my racing my racing style that I think that'd be really good. Great. So definitely we have some breaking some personal bests as well as, you know, leaving your legacy there. And speaking of that, you know, this isn't just any unique uh, aquatic center that you guys will be racing in. This is where the 2012 Olympic games were held where Michael Phelps won some medals, Ryan Lochte as well. So just what does it mean to you guys just that you'll be uh, swimming on such a remarkable venue like that? Speechless. <laughs> last year. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. the second I stepped into the arena, it was, it felt like an experience that like never like happened to me before, and it just felt like right to swim there and like to think of all the legacies and the people that have been there. It, it was like it made me feel like more confident in my swimming ability. Awesome, yeah, definitely. definitely. I think Isla's been there before, so she knows what it's like in the arena and things. But I think, like you say, there's such a legacy in that pool and that arena that to be able to be able to say that you've swam in the same pool is something, and it's just it's a really cool thing to be able to do. Awesome, that's great to hear. And you know, uh, with that being said, as you guys are some of the leaders just on the swim team. How have you guys been able to keep up the confidence of the team to make sure that people are prepared just going to the games? Honestly, I think the most important thing, obviously Mr. Taylor has been really helpful with it as the, the swim teacher at the school and swim coach, but the team bonding I think is a really important thing, spending the whole time together with one another, even if it's not just at the competition, like at the hotel, on the flight, things like that. So to make like to know that the team is really like tight knit and everyone knows everyone and everyone's happy around everyone, I think that's a really important thing that's definitely gonna help with the team, like the team spirit itself. Yeah, and I think having that also allows us to just it like it really helps to support each other. Like even if you're not like really close with them, just knowing them and knowing what they're like like gives you the confidence to like support them and it can help them like gain confidence as well. Great, great. Definitely. It seems like you guys have some techniques that are working there to build team chemistry. And, you know, with that being said, it's definitely, you know, you guys have made a long journey just to get to this point. I know just even probably in your swim meets now and then obviously to London. So is there anyone you'd like to thank or is there anyone that's really inspired you to get to this moment? Uh, obviously, my coaches, uh, especially Mr. Taylor, school swim coach, he's he's been helping us. Um, not only like with the training and like getting faster, but also he's mentally preparing us because it's not an easy experience to leave your family to go and to another country and to swim and to like have a bit of pressure to like win. But um, he's mentally preparing us to like enjoy it and have fun. Yeah, honestly, I agree with Isla. Like the way that we're being prepped for all of it from Mr. Taylor's side has been really, really good. So thank you to him and everything, as well as obviously our coaches who have been giving us the sets and pushing us to do our best. And then our parents who are, you know, driving back and forth, training after training or school session after school session as well. And then the team also. Without the team, there's no point. Great. Definitely. Seems like there's a lot of people to uh, thank there. And I guess just my last question uh, with this interview is just, do you have any final thoughts just going into the World School Game Championships for swim? Uh, for me, I think it's just like trying my best and like making sure that I use like this to the best of my opportunity. Just like knowing that even if it's not
Uh, even if I don't feel the best in the moment, just being like here shows like so much improvement from my past and just like appreciating that. Yeah, and I think on my side, it's honestly, it's mainly excitement, something to look forward to. Like at this point, it's like a goal saying, once I've swam in this meet and then the next competition and the next competition, then I get to go to London and it's just this big event. That's, it's going to be a really amazing experience. I think it's excitement. Uh, I agree with both of them. So it's basically like where I get to show my talent and it's a rare opportunity. So I'm going to work hard to set my goals. I'm going to set my goals and work hard towards them so I can achieve them. Great. I, I love to hear those words of wisdom there. So uh, definitely appreciate all three of you uh, being on the podcast. Best of luck at the World School Swim Championships in May. And uh, thank you, Coach Taylor, for having me on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, bye guys. Bye. Bye.